I got invited to the Wagon offices in London to speak to four of their students who finished their coding bootcamp. In this video, Agnes has a great story to tell how she went from cop in Taiwan to full stack coder in London. And she has a React tattoo. First, you're going to hear 15 seconds on Catherine at the Wagon, who organises Great Afternoon. Then we'll jump straight into Agnes's story, and then we'll go back to Catherine's if you want to hear more details about the Wagon's coding bootcamp. I'd like to thank the Wagon for inviting me to their offices and for organising such a great afternoon. If you want to hear more about coding, getting into coding, tech events, open source, diversity, inclusion, don't forget to subscribe below. Um, so the Wagon is a coding bootcamp to teach people who have no prior knowledge of coding at all, absolute beginners to become full stack web developers within nine weeks. We launched in Paris five years ago now, been in London for three. It's brilliant, we teach people just the hard skills, teach them how to work as a team and collaborate and build cool products. Uh, yeah, what is your name and, and what do you do? Okay, and I'm Agnes. Um, and I work in a company called Fister, and I'm a full stack developer. So what sort of technologies do you, do you use as full stack? It's not JS and uh, AWS. Also, um, we use JavaScript and Re React. Actually, we have a, have a tattoo which is uh, React logo here. Oh my god, yeah. that's awesome. I need to get a picture of that later on. That is brilliant. That is really, really good. Okay, so you like React then? Yeah, I like React. We also use a bit of Angular. So in the like company. Angular. Nice. It's my Angular tattoo. No, I'm <laughs> I don't have one. So how did you get to where you are now? What's your journey? So what's your background? And I'm guessing you went on the Le Wagon course yeah. and, and you got to where you are now. So my background is a bit interesting for most people because um, uh, I graduated from a police university in Taiwan. So I was a cop in Taiwan for five years. Uh, first, I went to Belgium for working holiday and I went there for one year. After Belgium, I got a visa to the uh, UK, also a working holiday visa. And that's why I came here. And uh, in the beginning, I was doing jobs like retails or a customer service. Um, but I don't uh, really find my passion in that. And uh, until last year, um, my husband, he's also a developer. He suggests me maybe I can um, do some online coding first. Started, I just love love it. Last year, around July or August, my, um, my my visa of working hard there was only like one year left. Okay. Yeah, so I thought maybe I should join some boot camp to accelerate the process of my coding. I found the wagon. A cop, wow. I mean, what a change. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's brilliant, right? It shows mm. that, that tech is for everybody. Mm. Definitely a high five to your husband for encouraging you to get into coding. <laughs> yeah. So what challenges have you have you had? So you mentioned <laughs> that the visa must have been a challenging. Yes. Have you had any other challenges in the in the tech scene? I never have had any education in English background before, struggling a bit to keep up. Every day I came here and I did a course. And when I went back home, I also uh, kept coding until maybe midnight. What advice would you give to your younger self? I follow everything by rules. So if I went back to talk to my younger self, I would say be brave and think outside of the box and start coding as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. Do you go to any tech events or any hackathons? Yeah, last month I went to a web conference called Performance Start Now. It's in Amsterdam, so a two-day conference. They have different talks about how to make the website. Uh, run faster. What advice would you give to someone like yourself getting into tech, thinking mm. about going to a boot camp like Low Wagon? Mm. What, what advice would you give them? We decide to do it, just don't stop for some minor defeat. And so what does a nine week course look like? What happens at the beginning in the first week? Build up demo day at the end, which sounds really exciting. Yeah, yeah. So how do you kind of build up to that? First six weeks are all back end. So we have lectures, it's full time. So people come to this office every morning, we'll have a lecture in the morning and then work in teams to solve problems. And then at the end of the day, have a live code session where everyone in the cohort of like 40 people will be able to code together and, and make sure that they've understood the concept. So they'll learn Ruby on Rails for those first six weeks and then we'll move on to projects. So it takes about three weeks for everyone to learn HTML, CSS um, and JavaScript. Okay, so they get you, you pack in a lot of information at nine A weeks. lot of information. It's a really steep learning curve. 
Do you help them find work afterwards or do you have like contacts or networking? So we have a community, we're very like active with our community. So there's about 3,000 at the moment of our alumni. And so also something that's really important to me is getting more women in tech. It's important for the whole company globally. So one of our main priorities is increasing our gender diversity and di diversity generally. So the Hatch Hackathon that I mentioned, that was run by She Can Code to encourage more, more young girls to get into tech and get into coding.